How's it there? Welcome back to our update today. Right now we have a marginal risk of severe weather tonight. And that's really it for severe weather, really, and that's expected in the next three days. There was a slight risk earlier across portions of the Mid-Atlantic. However, though, has been since removed and now just been on marginal risk, which will probably be also removed um, coming in the next 30 minutes. So, um, right now, we have a marginal risk as well across portions of Texas and as well as Ob- Oklahoma. Right now, we're seeing an MCS that seems to be, uh, has developed right now. Um, again, isolated AMG winds appear to be possible. An outflow boundary has combined, has, um, two outflow boundaries have merged. So, again, that's going to be, we'll be probably seeing some more thunderstorm development with this before, um, as they get across throughout the evening. And, uh, that's really... The only feature right now that's really active. Look at the uh, Weather Prediction Center's um, excessive rainfall outlook, marginal risk for the next three days. As well, looking at the rain expected in the next seven days. Again, rainfall amounts probably range between cross portions of Texas, probably around two to even five inches of rain is possible. As well, heading as far north as um, Nebraska, we'll be seeing again. Uh, rainfall amounts up to around two inches, maybe even heading to Nebraska, local areas around three inches of rain. So, um, we have a larger risk of excessive rainfall across portions, Texas, the Gulf Coast basically, and as well as Colorado and the four corner states. Um, also, along the Gulf Coast in the Great Plains, we have a larger risk of excessive rainfall and in a large area on day three. Stretching all the way from New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, as well as Kansas. That's really a lot to say about the U.S. for today. So, um, we're, we're, let's move on. Right now, we have three areas of interest. One right now, um, one of them um, has a low chance of developing now. Only a 30% chance of developing associated with... Um, um, remnants of Peter has a low chance of redeveloping 30% chance next 40 hours, 30% the next 5 days. Two more areas of interest. Um, there was a one of them. Um, so right now, uh, there's two areas of interest as well in the main development region, and right now, um, there's uh, one with a high chance, 90% chance to develop in the next 40 hours, 90% the next 5 days. Then just to the west, there's another area of interest right now. Um, 60% chance to develop in the next 40 hours, 60% the next 5 days. However, the indications are showing that it might merge with the 90% chance um, area of interest. So we'll see about that. But um, looking at the Eastern Pacific now, we're just off the coast of Africa. We have an area of interest right now has a 40% chance to develop in the next... 40, 20% the next 40 hours, 40% the next 5 days. Nothing is expected for a Central Pacific. Looking at, um, again, we're um, taking a look at the North Indian Ocean as well as the, um, as well as, I mean, um, the Western Pacific. Right now we have two, two areas of interest, three actually cross portions of both those basins right now as well as Typhoon Mindul. Um remnants of three bees can be has a low chance of opening at this time, however though could um rise throughout the next couple of days. As well we have ninety eight B has a high chance of opening right now along the coast of India. As well we have Typhoon Mindul um still active in the ninety one W um that has a low chance a a moderate um Medium chance of helping. So, looking at Mindul right now, current winds around 105 knots. Expected to strengthen to around 115 before gradually weakening as it's. Um, it seems to be continuing to trend really away from Japan. However, the heavy rainfall and locally gusty winds are going to be possible from it. So, um, really, apart from that's really it. And goodbye.